Et re pour ce quatrième épisode. Alors ce coup-ci, normalement, ça devrait être bon. J'ai galéré au possible. Hein. Il y a eu euh, bien 4 ou 5 tentatives supplémentaires entre l'épisode précédent et celui-ci. Et là, on se retape donc la, la scène de dialogue juste avant l'entrée dans l'infirmerie. Voilà. Top. C'est reparti. <rire> non, pas menu principal. There they were. Voilà. As I got close, I could hear shouting from inside. Then I remembered what Robert told me about being careful. I held back my urge to kill and listened to the conversation. And why did you give him your access card? I didn't. He took it from my jacket. But you did nothing to stop it. This is high treason. You're in deep shit, Dr. Hoffman. So, Dr. Hoffman? I'm surprised, Mr. Fox. You managed to remember a surname. Well, I had a neighbor named Hoffman. Big German man. Very hairy. He won the lottery and was planning to retire, but his gonorrhea had other plans. Fascinating. Let's return to the story, please. Sure. Where was I? This is high treason. You're in deep shit, Dr. Hoffman. Good. Just testing if you were listening. <laughs> you want a doctor that has no idea how to fight? Stop a man that knocked out all your guards? Are you really that stupid? Don't you dare insult my intelligence. I know you gave him medical attention. How many wounded have you healed, Lieutenant? I'll tell you, none. Why? Because your job is to be a paper-pushing butter bar. Mine, on the other hand, is to heal and attend. To anyone who needs it, even if that person killed my family. Aiding the enemy in this base is treason. My oath has no restrictions on who I must heal. You want to arrest me? Then tell me, Lieutenant. Who is going to save the lives of your soldiers if I'm in a cell? You? A man so incompetent that a prisoner is running circles around him? <laughs> How dare you! Now stop pestering me! And get the hell out of my sick bay. This isn't the end, Doctor. You're on thin ice. Man, she's one badass doctor. Shit, they're coming out. <laughs> and off he went, taking the level three card with him. I needed that card if I wanted to get out of this building. But before that, I had to check if the doctor was okay. Okay, let's go. Doctor, are you alright? Why do you ask? I found out you were going to be arrested, so I ran here to help, but I heard people shouting, and I saw those men walking out. That's Lieutenant Marcuson. All bark and no brain. I can't stand that moron. Really? I couldn't tell. <laughs> but once he speaks to General Lex, I'll have some serious problems. You've dragged me into quite a mess. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to cause you trouble. Yeah, I know. Anyway, thanks for worrying about me. It's what I do. That Marcuson has a level three card on him. I'll understand if I see him in my sick bay later. You read my mind. <laughs> see you around, Doc. Hang on. Oh. On tente. On tente. Wait, what? <laughs> C'est wow. sûr. Déjà vu. What the hell were you doing? I was leaning in for a hug. With your eyes closed? And you said kiss out loud. Sorry, let's <laughs> not speak of this again. Fine by me. You look tired. Take these first aid kits. Thanks, Doc. Save some for Lieutenant Marcuson. If you shoot him, don't let him bleed to death. I'll be executed as an accomplice if he dies. Now go! Catch him before he exits oui, the alors, building. Euh... Je dois déjà me Merci. Et récupère ça. Ouais. Uh, uh, well, well, well. 
it isn't the slippery, cowardly pet of that traitorous bitch. What's up? Is your conjugal visit over? <laughs> I'm in charge of enforcing curfew, and only I can leave from here. Problem with a building this large? There are too many hideouts for a mutt like you. So... Now it's just you and us, mutt. You can't run, and you can't hide. Yes, let's fight. Non. Mais putain, j'étais en train de le heal. Imprécision de mes couilles. Oh bah d'accord, euh, oui. Puis ça tire euh, comme ça euh, au calme. Euh... Tranquille, euh, Emile. Euh... Well, well. Euh... Mais putain, j'en ai plein le cul, faut soigner les autres et puis faut soigner aussi, c'est de la merde You're a tough little mongrel, aren't you? I wonder if old dogs can learn new tricks. Let's see you chew your way through lasers. Defeated. Finish this once and for all. Don't even think about it, bastard. Death would be too good for you. I'm going to keep you alive, and you'll lie here on the ground until someone finds you. Everyone will know that a single prisoner defeated you. The best part? You'll be severely injured. I wonder how it'll feel, being the patient of a woman you called a traitor. No! No! <laughs> aller récupérer des kits de soins parce que je suis poil dans le malaise. Docteur, 
On a réussi le truc. Euh, en moins d'une minute au moment de la course. Ah je. tried to open the door with the level 3 card, but the exit also had a biometric scanner, which needed to scan your retina and your fingerprints. In other words, only authorized people could open that door, and I was not one of them. scanner at the door. I'm stuck in here. I can't leave. Settle down, son. Grab the officer you took the card from mm. and bring him to the scanner. Use him to open the door. Slam his face into the scanner a few times for good measure. I could finally breathe some fresh air. The ground was untended. Uneven grass covered the soil. And the jungle was relentless. Everything was dark, save for a light above the door. In my escape, I ran into a gang of hounds that were sound asleep. Their sense of smell was 100 times stronger than ours. And my stench, a mixture of musty sweat and sewer gas, was an alarm clock. I had to be mindful of which way the wind blew, because I needed to pass between the dogs without my scent reaching their nostrils. Oh,
The gate was locked. I had to look for another exit. No, oh, putain. Oh, les bâtards. C'est bugué, est pas, on n'est pas censé pouvoir passer. Fox here, over. What is it, Fox? I managed to leave the building. Well done. Now you have to get as far away as you can. I'm on it. Damn, this jungle is dense. By the way, I found some sleeping dogs, and I'm going to sneak past them. Don't even think about calling me for the next five minutes. I don't want to wake them up. Got it. Over and out. Mais bon, on sait qu'il faut appeler l'autre machin avant. <laughs> Aren't we supposed to shoot him? No need. Let's make a bet, Mike. How high? How high what? Fuck! The landmines! Wait! Ha <laughs> Look on your face! Mike, you're a dick. Yeah, I know. Quel bande de sac à merde. Ah putain par contre j'ai plus de boules, j'ai plus de balles. C'est ouf. Mmh. 
sering sering musuh yang Ah, où je dois aller Parce que j'ai pas la clé. Ça va rien taper sur le générateur. Probablement une clé que j'aurais pu mettre. Mais bon, il y a les mines là-bas. Ça je savais pas mais j'ai pas envie de l'utiliser. Pas envie d'utiliser les pots de chambre. Deux secondes, le temps de récupérer de la vie parce que la vache, ces putains de laser, ils font mal. Moi qui avais pas envie de faire de montage sur cette série, je fais chier. Oh putain, mais le gitanisme est énorme. Ouais, je bouge plus 100%. Ah bah je, je prends cher au sang. Je me demande s'il faudrait pas mieux que je claque. Hein. Je peux 
बड़े दिन हो गए porté I managed to avoid the flames with calculated patience and expertise. Why didn't you use the anti-thermal suit? The one you used to hide from the sensors. It should have protected you from the fire and you could just walk through. Because... It was a race from my memory. My mind couldn't recall that I had the suit. The same mind that told me about the suit a little while ago? The human brain has great regenerative power. We barely know how it works. So, in other words, you didn't think to use it? Ah, uh, more or less. Well, Mr. Fox, please continue with your story. <laughs> There was nobody in the room, but my instincts told me it was a perfect place for a trap. Entre nous. There was nobody in the room.
There was nobody in the room. But... <rire> de pire en pire le, le John, hein, le vieux John. Petite coffrette de la après. Ah, il y en a eu en face. Oh non, mais putain. Nobody in the room. Hmm? Putain, je suis une sombre merde. Clairement, je suis une sombre merde. C'est de l'apprentissage. Il y en a une là, là, là. Après, c'est là-bas, là-bas. Après, là-bas. Putain. There was nobody in the room, but my sombre merde que je suis ouais puis putain après ok l'apprentissage à la dure le pattern de ces There was nobody in the room. Je pense que je veux trop le speedrunner aussi. Les joueurs en tout ça me touche derrière le, le réacteur. avec certains boss quand même. Il y a la clé du sous-sol. Très bien. Tout est différent. Une fois, il ne mourra pas deux. Eh, c'est chiant tout ça par contre. Hein.
Note à moi-même. Pensez à détruire ces putains de tourelles. Laser. C'est clairement chiant, je sais pas qui a eu l'idée. Le concepteur de jeu, mais bon. C'est vrai qu'on n'est pas venu là. Il est vrai. Il est vrai, il est vrai.
j'en étais sûr. <rire> C'était certain qu'il y en a encore ici. Putain, je vais se le mettre trop au coup à gauche, quoi. Putain. Ça me demande. Mines weren't the only threat. The jungle was home to ferocious hunters. I noticed the presence of... Giant sea sea flies fluttering around. One bite and I'd be asleep forever. Ok, let's go. something or rather someone I saw the rotting remains of an escaping prisoner it had a note if you're reading this note then I'm dead <laughs> my name is Henry Stanley and I was imprisoned for a crime I didn't commit damn just like me After escaping from my cell, I ran away through the sewers then ended up in the Alpha building. I finally managed to leave that damn building, but now I'm lost in this tropical hell. I've spent 30 years trying to leave this damn jungle, but no luck. I'm old, and my strength is fading. I won't last long. These are my last words. These were his last words. Other than the note, There was a compass, but the needle was missing. A broken compass was useless, so I didn't take it.
keep this one. Ça, ça nous sort plus à rien. Fox here. Over. What is it, Fox? Colonel, I think I'm past all the mines. Well done, Fox. See if you can commandeer an escape vehicle. I will try, Colonel. C'est hallucinant. Another corpse. I searched the corpse. It was also rotting and gripping another compass. The needle was also missing. Someone or something in this jungle was stealing compass needles. There was a secret pocket in his ragged clothes. Within, I found a note. If you only found this note, then someone else stole my other note. Another note? Damn! Someone <laughs> passed by before I did and stole this poor man's note. I never knew what the other note said. Absolument pas ce que je veux faire. Éventuellement, ah, je sais pas si. Tiens, si en redescendant, euh, est-ce qu'on se tombe sur le coin Est-ce que si on lui passe le. Je viens de gâcher une balle fantastique. Je suis perdu On peut vraiment pas lui récupérer sa boussole. Et je vois rien qui pourrait nous aiguiller. sortir de là. A third corpse. Fuck. The jungle was more dangerous than I expected. Et pas pour rien tout. It was rotting too. Like the others, it had a compass on it. Don't tell me. The needle was missing. Exactly. Could it be that you were running into the same corpse over and over again? I commend you for coming to the same conclusion. I passed by seven times to confirm it. I was wandering in circles. The damn jungle was toying with me. I had to orient myself somehow or I'd end up spending 30 years in that maze of trees. I tried to direct myself by watching the stars. But the damn top-down view only let me see the trees and ground. So, I had to find another way to gain direction. Est-ce que... en frottant... Le bébé de Cucus, c'est pas bien. What was the diameter of the compass, Mr. Fox? 
Around two inches. And how long was the rusty wire, Mr. Fox? Six or seven inches. <laughs> Wasn't it a little too long to place it inside the compass? I'm stupid, but not that stupid. I just used a small piece of the rusty wire, not the whole thing. I ripped off a piece with my teeth before placing it in the compass. <laughs> but that wire wouldn't have been magnetized. How did you expect it to work? Modern compasses don't need the wire to be magnetized. Just turns out the compass wasn't modern. Colonel, do you copy? Copy. How are you captured? We are heading to Cantor, the neutral zone. Jesse here. Do you copy? I hear you. Hey, how did they catch you? I was in. Jesse here. Over. I was looking at the compass, thinking of how to make it work, when something caught my eye. In the middle of the grass, something glimmered under the pale moonlight. In my peripheral vision, I noticed I was not the only one to spot it. Bah maintenant faut que je retrouve l'oiseau. C'est pas gagné ça. Non c'est la euh, euh, euh. Éventuellement, est-ce qu'on pourrait pas lui lancer une pisse va passer de l'autre côté. On va essayer. C'est pas gagné. Genre il était là.
How's it coming along, Fox? I'm still searching for a hot ride. <laughs> Sorry, Colonel. I'll tell you when I find one. <laughs> Robert, still there? Yep. I was thinking about those big concrete blocks you saw. This place is full of concrete buildings. Maybe they're building something. Something new. Something that requires a lot of concrete. And that's why there's so many guards. Why are they transporting concrete instead of making it here? Maybe someone sold them something in parts and they're just bringing them here. Hmm. Could be. But what? If I find anything out, I'll let you know. Thanks, man. Over and out. C'est bien. Mais je peux leur laisser les lunettes. Non. Ça, je peux pas le lancer. D'ailleurs, je sais même pas pourquoi je suis les combiner. Alors, euh, on va peut-être pas faire euh, les folies. Euh... Ça va venir aussi.
C'est un poil long comme phase. Sir, if I see these eyebrows shaped again, I will shape your balls clean with a single oh, rim. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Hey, where the fuck did you come from? You're so ugly you could be a modern art masterpiece. Did your father fuck an orangutan? Sir, no, sir. Fuck your face is a sales pitch for condoms. Have you ever screwed needle dick? Yes, sir. You can't be serious. What did you screw? A light bulb? Sir, no, sir. What's your sole purpose in the ex-army, asshole? To do whatever you tell me, drill sergeant. God damn it, boy. That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard. <laughs> Thanks, sir. <laughs> now get out of here. Go back to your barracks. Ah, il aurait fallu que j'attende. Ah putain, ah oui, non, mais d'accord. Ça va faire pareil. Ouais, ça, ça fait plus ou moins la même chose. C'était parce que je voulais faire. J'ai arrivé à ce qui me semblait être l'exit d'un barracks. Hey Mike, I'm late and I have to take this truck to the port. Are you going to open the damn door or not? Hold on, I'm opening it. My instinct told me the gate was going to open and a truck was going to leave. I could sneak onto the truck and get far away from here. See you later. Yo, Mike! Mike! 
What's up? Hold on. I need to verify the departure permit. Fuck, Mike, hurry up! Yeah, yeah. On est dans le camion. Yo, Mike. Can I leave now? Negative. The lieutenant canceled the delivery. You'll have to come back in. Oh, holy fuck. <laughs> La baise. <laughs> Ah, putain. Et c'est là-dessus qu'on va. The trip was shorter than expected. Instead of heading away, I ended up inside the compound. The ground was muddy, beaten lifeless by countless combat boots. There were sandbags and boxes everywhere. I heard Mike getting off the truck and talking to the other Mike. Hey Mike, what the hell happened? Someone screwed up and loaded the wrong stuff. Useless fuckwads! <laughs> they reported that they'll get the correct stuff loaded soon. Sounds like a nap is in order. No can do. They're loading onto another truck in the north parking lot. Serial number 233980. So move your ass there. They told me to head to the south gate just so I could be sent back to the north one? Fucking bureaucracy. <laughs> My instinct was back, and it knew of another truck I could ride. My plan to stow away wasn't screwed at all, just slightly delayed. I only had to reach the north gate without being seen. What? Eh bah ben écoutez, on va se laisser là-dessus pour ce quatrième épisode, et je vous dis à ciao à plus pour la suite des aventures sur Un Mardor. A ciao à plus, ciao bye bye. <rire>